will today be hosting winners of the 2014 Standard Bank Young Artists for Visual Arts. That's twin brothers Hussein and Hassan Isops as they showcase their latest exhibition titled Refuge, the state of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger or difficult. Now, uh, a display that depicts the Syrian refugee crisis and its aftermath, the two have gained massive recognition for their contribution for their work in exploring pertinent issues of mounting Islamophobia and dismantling stereotypes around Islam. The Isop brothers now join me in studio for more on this. A very good morning to you gentlemen. Welcome to Morning Love. Thank you, and it's a real honor to be here with you this morning. It certainly is. We, we, we're honored to have you. Now, tell us more about this exhibition today. Well, this exhibition, uh, it's opening today at uh, 11. Uh, we'll be also giving a little walkabout at 12. Okay. Um, it's something that we've been working on for the past roughly a year and a half, yeah. um, inspired by uh, international events, specifically what happened, um, what, what is happening in Syria. Yeah. Um, you know, it really moved us. Uh, the, the chain events that followed. And um, Hussein and I, you know, when we, we started working on this exhibition, and that was the starting point. The exhibition is, is a collection of ideas. It's a collection of memories. Um, like I said, it's a collection of these, these events that we've, we've put together over this, the past two years. Um, and the outcome is, is a, a full viewing um, show at, at yeah. the Goodman. So you're going to see uh, photographic elements. You're going to see in installation, there's a video piece, um, some uh, wonderful installations that Hussein and I have, have uh, worked on during this period. Okay, so what about uh, the Syria crisis that really caught your attention for you to start working around it? Um, being, being Muslims, I mean, in our religion we're taught to believe that every Muslim is your brother and sister in mm. the religion, in Islam. So when we... I mean, when we were bombarded by these images through in the media of of refugees fleeing, um, and how can I say, basically washing up on shore, mm -hmm. um, the the buildings, the buildings being destroyed, yeah. uh, people yeah. trapped in the buildings, and it's just the destruction and horror of the whole situation. And millions of people displaced. Yeah, children, and, yeah, and for me, it was more really of how I knew that. In the next few weeks, this will be forgotten, because yeah. this is how um, the generation we kind of living in this. Every week, there's a new headline, mm. so we felt like this, this crisis, this issue, and and all of the images that we're seeing, we kind of need to capture this. We kind of need to capture history, yeah, yeah. so that we can just remind people, look, um, look, look what's happening to us. I mean, history is basically repeating itself, and asking or posing the question, how can things like this be happening in today's okay. day and age? You know. All right. Now, this exhibition is a, a decade worth of work. So, how has it been working with your brother? Well, you know, it's, it's a roller coaster ride, ups and downs. Um, but uh, generally, you know, there's, there's no other better person you'd want to work with. Uh, Hussein and I, you know, throughout our lives, we did things individually. But when it came to our art, you know, we, we developed certain skills um, and techniques and that we brought those, those, those specialities together. Mm. So when we, when we work together, um, Hussein brings something to the party, I do, uh, I do too, and we, we join forces. And we also, we have the sixth sense, we call it twin power. Yeah. You know? So <laughs> when we're doing things, we don't need to speak to each other, we use each other's body language. Um, Hussein and I can speak to each other visually. Uh -huh. uh, we, a lot of the images that you will see, um, Hussein and I, we've discussed it how, for hours and hours, mm. really constructing the image in our minds before we actually go out um, and, and photograph and document it. Because the photographs is it's a degree of performance, mm. we have to take a certain amount of costumes, we need to look at locations, um, we do a lot of driving around Cape Town looking for these spaces. Uh, once we've decided what we want to put in the photograph, we take all that goodies with us in the car, we set it up. And the performance can take uh, roughly even 40, to an hour, 40 mm. minutes to an hour just yeah. to document the image. Now, the general misconception about Islam, uh, when you talk of Islam, you talk about terrorism, you talk about bombing, you talk about killing people. So take us through briefly some of the challenges that are faced by the Islam, that, Islam that's religion. That's exactly why we're putting an exhibition like this, because yeah. you have these negative uh, images associated with the beautiful religion of Islam. Yes, there are people that are doing horrific things in the name of Islam. But we as Muslims are saying that is not Islamic. Okay. You know, and we're seeing more and more of that. So yes, um, you know, it, the media has a lot of power. 
um, it, it, when it's controlled and used in a certain way, mm-hmm. um, I think it's, it's doing damage. So Sarah and I, especially, we, we, you know, we try to bring people, uh, we, we, we try to show different okay. discourses All right. and that people can make up their own mind and decide. Unfortunately, Islam. we have to end it there. Okay. But then, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. It's, it's been a pleasure. pleasure having you on Thanks. the show. And all the best in, in today's exhibition. Okay. That's twin, uh, twin visual artists Hassan and Hussein Isop talking to us about their exhibition called Refuge, the state of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger or difficult. Now, the exhibition will have its walkabout today at the Goodman Gallery in Johannesburg and will run until the 19th of August. This is Morning Live.